So if you ask the kids in my AP environmental class last year and you say, what did you learn last year in AP? They will tell you, plant the moon challenge. So Virginia Space Grant gave us this opportunity to do Plant the Moon Challenge. Uh, they are sponsoring us for this event and they're sponsoring the two teams. It's an amazing opportunity. It gives them hands-on experience. It gives them exposure to an international competition. So NASA's plan is to go set up a base at the South Pole of the Moon and our astronauts need food, right? So they've given us simulated moon rock, moon regolith, and 50% of the pots have to be moon regolith, and then whatever the other 50% is really up to the students. So the project was basically finding out what plants can we grow on the moon. This is so astronauts in space could potentially colonize the moon and make it like another colony for humans to survive and develop on. When we went to plant initially, they wear the hazmat getup, like they've got the plastic poncho, they have the goggles, they wear the mask. The moon soil is actual moon soil and its dust particles are toxic to our respiratory system. So we just have to be careful that A, we didn't get anything in our eyes and B, we weren't breathing anything in. So my students did some research. Um, one team decided just to regular soil and mix it with the moon regolith and the other team had other kinds of additives that they used. And then they selected what they wanted to grow. So one team decided on cucumbers, and the other team decided on basil and spinach. We're team yappers, and our opponents are team supernova. I was actually nominated as the team leader for this project. I made sure that we had the hypothesis in, that people come in and water the plants their specific amount daily. And every time I'm in class, I always take measurements to see how much they're growing throughout the week. In the past, I had three teams and only one team could get their beans to grow. So I was really concerned about going into it this year. I was like really hoping that we could get some growth. But this year, the way that they've been monitoring, they said, Teresa, the pH balance seems to be off, so she had me buy lime and she mixed it, and I think that helped their growth. And they were a little bit more observant, and they kind of changed what they needed to do, and it's been, it's been successful. We made a lot of progress. We had our plants grow, and while some are beginning to, like, whittle, they're mostly flourishing and being alive, which, you know, it's pretty nice to see how much our progress has been made. So we presented our hypothesis in the beginning, and then we have a midpoint report, but at the end, they will compile all of their data and their conclusions, and we'll send that in as their final. Virginia Space Grant Consortium, Ruto Kashiri, she got it so that we could give them questions that we wanted to ask the astronauts on the International Space Station. She wasn't sure whose question would be picked, but we were really excited because Cameron Martin, his question got asked. That was rewarding for us because it's the International Space Station. So that was really cool. It was a cool experience, yeah. I have spare moon regolith to last me for a little while. And yeah, I would, I would really like to see them continue to learn in this, in this way because it's hands-on and they actually see the progress, right, of their work that they're putting into it. So in that way, I think it's been really beneficial. I've learned a lot and by pushing them to where they need to be, I know that they can do it. So it's okay to really push them in the classroom.